Hi guys, I am Muchakwa and I am back with Mess XYZ and in this lesson we'll still be continuing in analytical geometry of which uh, is a continuation from uh, the previous lesson that we did. Alright, uh, so today we'll just only be answering questions on analytical geometry and see how we can apply all those rules and laws on analytical geometry that we have done in our previous lesson. All right, uh, the question says, given the uh, point PQRS as the vertices of a parallelogram, we are now asked to find the coordinates of point R, which is, as you can see, that uh, the coordinates are X to Y, which are the unknowns. All right, we know that uh, a parallel, the properties of a parallelogram, parallelogram says, uh, the two op opposite sides are equal and also that means that uh, the diagonals bisect each other which means that the midpoint of point PR is the same midpoint of uh, as the midpoint of point QS so to find the, 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 the coordinate of point R we can actually use the midpoint method to find those coordinates alright see what we can do is to find the midpoint, the first thing that we need to understand is that the midpoint of point PR is the same midpoint as the midpoint of point QS. All right. So what we need to do is to find, of because we for Q and S we have all the coordinates, we can find the, the midpoint of those two points. And after that, we can equate it to the midpoint of point PR because we have the unknown for point R uh, for uh, in, the, in the in the point of R. All right, so what we need to do is to the midpoint of point PR uh, is X1. Remember the equation of a midpoint, it says X1 plus X2 divided by 2 uh, is to Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. Of which if we have to start with those two points, it will be negative 2 plus X divided by 2 is to 2 plus Y divided by 2. So those are the midpoint uh, points for the point PR. So this is equal to the midpoint of QS, which is 1 plus 0 is divided by 2 is to 4 minus 1 because it's a negative divided by 2. All right. So those two, we have this one. We can't do anything because we have the add two unknowns, which is x is to y. Then this side, we can actually find the midpoint of which 1 plus 0 is 1 divided by 2. That means that the, the coordinate of uh, the midpoint is 1 over 2. And for the y coordinate, it, the midpoint, it will be 3 over 2. All right. Here we have 3 over 2, guys. All right. So that means that the coordinates that we have for this point, it will be 1 over 2 is to uh, 3 over 2. So it's somewhere there. All right. Then from there, we can just now equate those two into the, the midpoint of the side so that we can find the unknown, which is y, x and y. So it will be 1 over 2. It's equals to minus 2 plus x divided by 2. All right, of which from here, multiplying that, it will be 2. It will be uh, 2 divided by 2, which will be 1. And uh, 1 plus 2, because we will take negative 2 into the other side of the equal sign. Then that means that the x is equal to 3. X for the x for uh, the, the, the point of r. So it makes sense even from this parallelogram. This is, we can actually assume that it's also 3. So the y coordinate of the x coordinate of point r is equals to 3. Then finding the y coordinate, okay, let me just erase this so that I can make up space. Finding the y coordinate, we will also equate 3 over 2 is equals to 2 plus y divided by 2. Of which those will multiply with that divide, uh, which will give us six divided by two. It will actually give us three, and then that will be three is equals to two plus y, of which our y will be uh, is equals to one. All right, then our y our coordinate of point R is equals to one, which makes sense. Of which we can just plotting it back to the graph. It's equals to one. All right, guys, but you can do this, especially if you didn't draw it into scale, it won't give you the right answer. What you need to do is to do the calculation and see if they can correspond with what you have drawn uh, in your Cartesian plane. All right, guys, just a quick recap of what we did here. Uh, we have give, we are given the point of a parallelogram, which is point PQRS. 
and we know that uh, the properties of a parallelogram says opposite sides are equal and also the diagonals bisect each other. That means if the diagonals bisect each other, this line will pass there and this line will also pass there. So that means that the midpoint of these two points and the midpoint of these two points must be equal. So what we did is to find the midpoint of point QS and after finding the mid midpoint of point, point QS, we can actually equate it to the midpoint of point PR because it's the same midpoint. So we found the midpoint, which is 1 over 2, is 2, 3 over 2, of which this is the midpoint. So what we need to do, we now have the midpoint and another point on the line. So that means that we can find the unknown, which is point R, of which we got 3 is to 1, which, uh, which are the coordinates of this point. All right, so guys, it really does help to know the properties of a shape. You must know the properties of all triangles, of all parallelograms, of all uh, the, the, the square, the rectangle, and all the, the other shapes in analytical geometry so that you can be able to answer questions like this. Because if you didn't know that the properties of parallelograms says that the diagonals bisect each other, that means that you will still be struggling on how to answer this question. All right, uh, the next question that we're going to do, guys, is to find the distance between points. So, and this one, we are given a triangle, which is triangle ABC. All right, guys, another thing that you must also do so that you don't make mistake is to always draw your uh, your shapes in a, in a Cartesian plane so that it can give you an overview of how it looks like. All right, uh, so this one is our point, it's our triangle ABC, of which drawing it, our triangle ABC. So I will use a scale of 2, 4, 6, of which our 2 will be equals to 8 and this ruler, 8 centimeters, our two, our 2, it will be equal to 8 centimeters in this ruler. So this will be 2, 4. All right, the same thing applies the sides. This, this will help you to have an overview of how your, your shape looks like. And when you are getting answers, you can always refer to your, to your Cartesian plane to see if it makes sense. Sorry, guys, it's actually the... All right. So, guys, I think I should take this a little bit down. So this is um, our first one, which will be eight. All right, and then we're gonna have another. All this won't be as straight as you guys will do it, cause here yeah, I don't really have uh, good lines in the board. All right, so this will also be 8 and then 16, which would be our 2. So our triangle ABC, the point of A is 0 is to 0, of which this, this is the 0 is to 0. That means that our A is A, which is 0 is to 0. And then another point, which is B, is 2 is to 5. So remember, this is 2, this is 4. So, and then this is 2, this is 4. That means that 5 is somewhere up here. It's somewhere there. All right, so we have 2, which is there. 16, 17, 18, 20. This is our point B, which is 2 is to 5. All right, and our point C is 4 is to 0, which is here. This is C, which is 4 is to 0. Now, drawing that triangle, We'll have this. All right. This is our triangle ABC. All right, guys. So the question says that we must find the distance between uh, a point AB and also between point BC and uh, AC as well. So the distance starting with uh, AB. Starting with point A, so let me just erase it to get space. 
Starting with AB, remember to find the, the, the formula for the distance for, for the distance it says square root of x uh, b minus x a square plus y b minus y a squared. So those will be equals to x b, which is there, will be 2 minus 0 squared plus 5 minus 0 squared. So this will be square root of 2, uh, which is 4. Sorry, guys. 2 minus 0, we know that is 2 squared. That will mean that it's 4 plus 5 squared. 5 minus 0 is 5 squared. That will give us uh, 25. So this is the square root of uh, 29. All right. That is the first one. So finding the second one, which is uh, BC, what we're going to have is we already now we know that the distance between AB is equals to square root of 29. All right. Square root of 29. So let me just erase this to get space. We're still looking for distance, so we'll just erase B there and A B there. So we're now finding the distance between B C. Alright, so that will be uh C X C minus X B uh plus Y Y C minus uh, Y B. Alright, so this will be C, which is uh four minus two squared plus zero minus five squared so this will be four minus two is equal to two squared that will give us give us four plus five uh, negative five squared which will give us 25 so it seems like the distance are equal between bc ab and bc so this is also equals to square root of 29 so finding the distance between point a c we don't even have to use the distance formula because both of those points, they are in the x-axis. And from A to C, we can see that it's 4 units. So the distance between AC is equals to 4 units, all right? So we'll take this, uh, the SI unit for this as units. All right, guys, uh, we have answered the question to find the distance between these two points and also between these two points. So the next question was to answer what kind of a triangle is this one. All right, guys, because the two point, the two, the two sides are equal, which is uh, side AB and side BC, they are equals to square root of 29. So that means that this triangle is an isosceles triangle because the two sides are, only two sides are equal in the, in the triangle. All right, as I've already mentioned, guys, uh, that you must know the properties of all the triangles. Uh, the triangle where all sides are equal, the triangle where not, none of the sides are equal, and the triangle of which only two sides are equal. You must know that so that you can answer questions like this. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy this lesson. And if you Please don't forget to subscribe to MedXYZ so that you can get daily notification when we upload videos. All right, guys, thank you.